This slide introduces the notion of a counting function. The counting function n of t is the number of events that occur in the interval 0t. That is, n of t is the maximum value of k such that t sub k is less than or equal to t for some lowercase t greater than 0. If you were to draw a picture of one of these, here is the time axis. Here is n of t. Now it is a counting function, so it will be integer valued. So here's 1 and 2. And so starting at time 0, you will wait until there is an event. And the first event might occur, say, right here at time t1. And at this time, this counting function will jump up to 1 and it will remain at 1 until there is another event and let's say that next event occurs right here at t2 and at that point it will jump up to 2 and etc. And so this counting function does nothing but increase with time. Whenever an event occurs n of t will increase by 1 as is seen in the realization here. The non-decreasing integer valued counting process n of t for t greater than 0 satisfies two things. First of all, if you pick a time t1, let's say right here, this is lowercase t1, a fixed time t1, and you pick another time t2 which is larger than it, and that might be right here, then the number of events that have occurred by t1 is less than or equal to the number of events that have occurred by t2. That's part of it being a non-decreasing function. Now the second thing that's true, if you also pick a t1 that is less than t2, then the interpretation of n of t2 minus n of t1, that is the number of events that occur in the interval t1, t2. So in this particular class, Poisson processes are going to be introduced in kind of a casual fashion. These will not be introduced very formally with a lot of rigor. The course that follows this one, or I should say one of the courses that follows this one, is called Stochastic Processes. And in a Stochastic Processes class, you go into a lot of detail on matters such as this. But here is a theorem. It's going to be stated without proof um, of how you determine the number of events on an interval of this type and we're going to change the notation a bit to a b for a Poisson process. So here's the theorem for a Poisson process with rate lambda the number of events in the interval a b is a Poisson random variable with probability mass function f of x is equal to that. Now if you look at that for a while it looks vaguely familiar with to a Poisson distribution and it is a Poisson distribution but instead of just having the parameter lambda it has the parameter lambda times b minus a. Now incidentally b minus a is the width of this interval and that was referred to earlier as w. So the number of events in any interval in a Poisson process has the Poisson distribution and here is the associated probability mass function.